decisions or they're going to let him get buckets. And defensively, that's going to be the matchup too, right? Is How is he going to guard Lesane and all that uh, passing action, all those back doors that Campbell wants to do? Winthrop controls the tip there in white. We are underway here in Rock Hill. Campbell in their road black uniforms. Right now it's McCullough that's guarding DJ Burns. We'll probably do a lot of switching off that as well, I would think, Michael. Yeah, if DJ gets from down there from the block and goes up to the top, there's no need to follow him up there. But nice, nice spin move. <laughs> Man, he's DJ Buckets, and he gets this game started off. 2 nothing Winthrop. That's a great start if you're the Eagles. Good to see. Russell Jones in the starting rotation tonight. Good to see his hard work being rewarded, yeah. earning a spot in the starting rotation. Yeah, Russell, two-time champion. Uh, Back out here, he you know he's a little discouraged early in the season, but now he didn't let it get to him. Now he's back in starting line to start the conference season, and let's see him lead the team. Cedric Henderson has the bucket for Campbell. We're even at two apiece. Russell Jones Jr. just a terrific competitor, and you know with so much talent on this team, it's it's a challenge to try and get everybody some playing time, but. Sometimes it's just as important at the end of the game who's in and right there, T.J. Burns with authority. He's got four points and went up ahead by two. Great patience by Bugs there. Really just let the game come to him, let the, the lane open up, the pocket pass open up for D.J. and hit it with precision. I'm yeah. interested to see Drew Bugs against Big South competition. Obviously, you know, playing you know in the Mountain West and playing in the SEC, now playing in the Big South, what, what he's going to be able to to accomplish is Carolaro inside with a miss. Bugs is well traveled, right, from coast to coast. He sure is. <laughs> Great find. From Long Beach, California. And Mike Anumba with the dunk. How about that? <laughs> Great pass for Drew Bugs from the LBC to Mike Anumba from Italy with the <laughs> smash. <laughs> well, Michael played a lot. What you play, 11, 12 years overseas? 12. In Europe? 12 years overseas in Europe. And this. Campbell team, including Carroll, has a little bit of an international flavor. Yeah, they're one of those teams. They're really seasoned, a veteran team. And for Winthrop, you have to make sure you don't get be too aggressive and let the game and make any mistakes. Jones off the mark. It was a good look. High tower rebounding for Winthrop. Tries to go underneath. Sends it out for Anumba. Eagles will reset the offense here with a four-point lead. And D.J. Burns turns it over. It's McCullough. Finds Ricky Clemens. And the layup no good, but a foul against Winthrop. And we'll see free throws here with 7.20 to play here in the first half. Yeah, DJ was about to pass at the high tower there. High tower bailed on his on his post up too too soon. He thought DJ didn't see him, thought he wasn't going to pass the ball. Bailed out of the paint, and DJ couldn't control it again. Strong drive there by Clemens, though. Really Drew. see that strength. He really looks like an extremely good athlete. Drew Bugs commits his first foul. It's the game's first foul. Coming in, Kelton Talford and Patrick Good, Russell Jones Jr. and DJ Burns will earn breathers on the bench. Winthrop wants to get in the 80 point range, high 70s, 80 point range. Campbell, they're 21st in the nation to score in defense. How about Bugs ripping the rebound away from Carol Arrow? Clemens makes one out of two. And Mike Anumba, how about that on the reverse layup? Mike is really being smart right now, attacking those closeouts. He's not waiting to move the ball around the perimeter. You give what the defense gives you. To attack strong, attack hard. There's that backdoor cut for Henderson. Good read. Henderson, another preseason All-Big South Conference player. Just, he's looking to have a breakout game, I'm sure. After losing to Asheville at home, I know he doesn't want to go down in the conference 0-2. In the corner for Mike Anumba, it was slightly deflected, just enough to take it offline. Rare occurrence here by Campbell getting out on the break. Fast pace, quick shot. And Jordan Whitfield, money in the corner there, evens the score at eight, or excuse me, at 11. No, it is eight. He's number 11. Another preseason all Big South Conference player. Well, one of the reasons why Campbell was picked to be preseason favorite in the North is they bring everybody back from last year, 99% of their scoring in minutes. And in a system that really rewards patience and playing experience, one second on the shot clock, and how about 
Drew Bugs. Happy New Year. Happy New Year is right. <laughs> that was a big three-pointer for Drew Bugs. Nice little one-leg KD action. Or Dirk. <laughs> <laughs> Either one's good. And Carolero working inside. Campbell is patient both on offense and defense. With the, they're going they're going to run their stuff. They're going to run their offense until you make a mistake. Here's Talford inside against Carolero. Now finds some help with the grad transfer, Drew Bugs from Long Beach, California. Shot clock winding down. Withers going to need to get a shot. There's a bank shot for Patrick Good. From this angle, it looked like he was throwing a lob. Yeah, it didn't look. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know exactly what you're saying. So Winthrop ahead by two. Campbell has been pretty hot so far to start. Made three of their last three. They're four of six in the game. Winthrop six of eight. So both teams shooting awfully high percentage shots in a foul with 14-4. I, I, I think it'll taper off. So McCullough sinks the first of two free throws. Got the continuation there. McCullough 43% at the floor this year. Gets one out of two. Chase Claxton on the floor for the first time. Rebounds for Winthrop with a one point lead. Sincere McMahon also with DJ Burns returning. Patrick Good and we see Josh Corbin for the first time. Corbin a guy could be a, a linchpin this season for Winthrop, such a good shooter. Here's another good shooter, McMahon, although he misses. And Clemens rebounds for the Camels. And we see Messiah Thompson on the floor for the first time. Here's a steal by Burns for Corbin. Back to Burns. Ball's tipped around. Kind of lost control of it. Now Campbell has a chance for some quick points. Wow. It's a oh. miss by McCullough. Too he bad. Smoked. That was a great pass. He smoked it. That was an unbelievable pass. And Patrick Good will be called with a travel. He yeah. kind of jumped up and then dropped the ball. But that was an interesting play on the other end. Yeah, great pass there by Thompson. But went up on the turnover. Corbin has to, you know, show a little more of his guard skills there. DJ Burns doesn't want to. He had, already did all the work, got the steal. <laughs> he threw it to a guard he felt comfortable with. Josh has to be able to make a better decision there in transition. Went up by one. Here in the conference opener, Asheville was the lone game for Campbell on Wednesday. They lost that game by six. <laughs> Pretty interesting defensive possession there. Corbin switched off, but then backed up, kind of pulling the chair. <laughs> My man didn't know where he went. <laughs> Ball went out of bounds. It's almost a Harlem Globetrotter move there. <laughs> so both teams... Came out of the gates pretty strong, but out of the media timeout, it's been tough for both teams to get any kind of consistency in their offense. Yeah, it started off hot. Now you see it's been a couple of those type of possessions. Like I said, it'll taper off. Here's the shot clock running down. Russ Jones is not going to get the shot off in time. That was amazing defense there by Clemens. Clemens does, looks like a guy, he former walk-on, so he know he likes, he's going to work hard. He pays attention to detail. You're not going to beat him with anything simple. Well, Winthrop has won the last seven in the series, including the championship game last year. Now, five of those seven games have been right here in Winthrop Coliseum, so it certainly has favored the Eagles, but the score in those games, Michael, 82 to 70. Winthrop with the advantage over those seven games, and that tells you what kind of pace of play. Yeah. Because even though the coaching staff has changed, the mentality has not. Winthrop really wants to play fast. Really getting up and down. That's that's the name of the game. And it has been for Winthrop the past couple of years. And there it is for Russell Jones Jr. Bang! Continuing his hot start. Five for eight the last game they played versus Converse. He had 15 points in that game and really looked very comfortable. It's good to see him get into a rhythm. He's one of those guys that knows how important conference season is. And Lusane gets away with a little bit of a bump on DJ Burns, but misses two point-blank looks. Yeah. Lusane, a guy who's 
coming off an ankle injury. He's had two foot injuries that have limited his time, and now a touch foul on Henderson. DJ's lucky he didn't get called for a flop there. Great attack by Corbin, but what I'm noticing is he doesn't he doesn't want to dribble past two or three dribbles. Right there he drew the foul, but if if the guy, defender for Campbell to stay solid, he probably would have picked it up again because as soon as he felt a little contact, he picked it up. Josh has to keep his dribble, keep his dribble, stay strong. First team foul against the Camels. Two for Winthrop, one for Campbell. 12 minutes to go here at the Coliseum. Winthrop ahead by four. Winthrop has led predominantly the entire way. Trying to see what kind of offense this is. Anumba with a shot fake. Tries a post to post pass. Mike had a pull up. He got him on the shot fake on the first one. Wow. Here's a miss by Thompson up top for three. He has that range if he's that confident in shooting that one. Corbin can shoot that shot as well, and he makes it for the Eagles with 11 and a half to play in the half. Bang, bang from the W. And that's a great possession defensively. You get the stop, then you get it down the floor quickly, and you get the, the uh, kind of spray ahead three. Yeah, uncharacteristic for Campbell. Quick shot. Wants to be, but, you know, he's one of the hardest workers yeah. on this team. It comes with thinking the game as well. Like, you have to, you have to put it all together. And if you put it all together and devote yourself to putting it all together, and it'll Whitfield come together. Misses the up top three. So now 0 for 6 from the floor of the Camels. Winthrop has made two of their last three. See Trying that. to instill their will here against the Camels offensively. You can feel, you can see the difference. Josh has a little more bounce in the step after hitting that three. Carol Harrell picks up the errant pass. Oh and trips over his feet, and they're going to say it's going to be on DJ Burns. So that's two on Burns, and that's going to put the Eagle big man on the bench. Uh, that was, if at best, incidental contact. Incidental, but whether it was planned or not, <laughs> the, refs have that, to, the refs have to call it. You have to call it, so unfortunate for DJ there. So that's going to put the preseason conference player of the air on the bench with two fouls. That's... One of, the one of the best ways teams can defend DJ Burns is to make sure he's not on the floor. Most definitely. The best ability is availability. Nice move by Messiah Thompson. So without DJ in the middle, they're clogging things up. And how about on the other end, Drew Bugs. That's how you force your tempo on a team that doesn't want to play that tempo. You get the ball out quick, and you push the ball up. Ball's going to be tipped by Thompson, stolen by Bugs, and here comes the Eagle attack. And Numba with the Euro step, can't get it to fall. And now we're going to get a foul on side on the rebounding action. Telford kind of sideswiped over the top, and that's going to be a foul on Kelton Telford. Can't be, can't be mad at that foul. That's, that's what, oh, effort. That's what, that's what Telford does. Yep. He attacks the glass with, with high intensity at all times. So, you know, it's, it's bound to happen. Mike there probably should have threw the lob to, Kel to, to Telford. Might not have been comfortable doing it, so he decided to go take it himself. That's the fifth team foul for Winter. We're halfway through the first half. Winter has won seven in a row in the series, including three games last year. The first two were here during the regular season. Remember, last year was that back to back. And another Winter foul inside, a hit on the head, and two shots coming for Campbell see this replay. I, I kind of missed it. I don't know if he got bailed out or not. Great attack, great pro, great hesitation there on the baseline to get through the scene. Whitfield showing himself to be very crafty. That's the sixth team foul for Winthrop, so Campbell will have free throws the rest of the way. Whitfield picks up the first of two. 83% this year. He's only attempted now seven free throws. He's made six. And 80, check that, he is, over his career, 83%. Oh, yeah. That's who you want with the ball in his hands at the end of the game and in close games. And he makes both. Oh, yeah, look, that, that looked pure. <laughs> Good shot. So that cuts the winter bleed to five. Chase Claxton returns. Campbell with a little full-court pressure here. A little one-two-two. Two. Oh, 
He gets back, a little dummy pressure. Is that just another measure to kind of slow things down a little bit? Slow them down, take time off the clock. Also, mess with their mind a little bit. Because when you see that, you're like, oh, 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 everybody has to get down quick. Yeah. Maybe speed you up a little bit yeah. or get your tempo off. Yeah. That's one of the principles of this defense is kind of slow it down, pay at their pace, maybe fall the, make the team fall asleep a little bit. Here's a miss, and Claxton will tip it out. Mike Anuba beat the shot clock but couldn't get it to fall. That was a great left-hand pass there by Claxton. He's another guy, kind of a glue guy. Makes big plays that maybe don't show up on the box score but are big contributors for Winthrop getting wins. Nice post-to-post -post pass, and Talford is fouled trying to go up for it. He'll go to the free throw line. Again, the shot clock winding down to three seconds there. That'll be the second foul against the Camels, and it will go against Joshua Lusain, the junior from Americus, Georgia. I really like the game that Bugs is playing right now. He's getting in the paint whatever he wants. He's dictating the pace, reading the game, reading the tempo, knowing when to slow it down, knowing when to attack. So far in his first half, he's playing a great floor game. Also has two assists. Two assists, one turnover. Would have had another if he would have, yeah. Telford would have hit that and one. <laughs> Telford misses both, so an unfortunate span at the free throw line there for Kelton. Telford could have pushed this lead back to seven, but now it's a two possession game. It remains a two possession game with Clemens going up with the left hand and gets it to fall. A little isolation there on the elbow. They put put Clemens on that, that left elbow, strong left hand driver, cleared it out, let him attack Bugs. Great defense. Better offense, he's strong. Clemens strong there. Now Winthrop, one of their last seven. So Campbell's defense stepping up. Here's Claxton up top for three. Can't get it to fall. 8-13 to play in the first half. Ooh, might have got away with one. Yeah, I think he did. That looked like maybe quick travel there on Henderson. Campbell's man-to-man -man defense is like a little pack line there. They're, they're making Winthrop. Oh, Telford with the block on Stachic. Watch him here. They're making Winthrop. If you're not going to shoot the pull-up three or shoot it, they're forcing her like, shoot the three. They're trying to make him shoot the three. Really kind of pack in the lane yeah, there. There's real, it's hardly any space to, to penetrate. That's why Bugs has been doing such a great job. Shot clock at 10. So Bugs will have to reset the Eagle offense. Single digits on the shot clock with the bigger Stachich guarding him. Drives in the paint. Can't get the finger roll to drop. Great decision, great choice. He's a little tired. Bugs is a little fatigued. Carolero had a nice spin move inside, but decided to pass it out. Good choice because Henderson hits the three and ties our score at 20. Selected in the preseason as the two favorites in the Big South Conference. Campbell out of the... North, Winthrop out of the South. Winthrop, the two-time defending Big South Conference champs. And Mike Anumba goes to the rim. Nice baseline drive, draws the foul. Can't get it to fall, but he's going to the free throw line. That was planned there. I like that. Out of the timeout, Mike has been driving strong all game, getting to the basket, a couple tough finishes, getting to the line, attacking that closeout. Mike with those big, broad shoulders. If he gets an angle on you, you're in trouble. Jesus Carolaro. Commits the first foul. That's a third team foul for the Camels, and even seven minutes to go in the half. Mike Anumba has been pretty steady at the free throw line, misses the first of two. That's the thing when you get to the line and you're attacking in games like this, it's going to be all mucky and, and low scoring. You've got to hit the knock your free throws down. And Mike gets one out of two. He's 75% this year at the free throw line, has five points. And now Eagles picking up three quarter court pressure. Trying to mix things up here on Campbell defensively. A little change of tempo on their own. They have to guard those continuous backdoor cuts. Ball movement, player movement. Campbell's nonstop. Oh, great pass. Into the corner for Whitfield. Shot clock winding down and hits the corner three. And the Camels have their first lead of the game, 23-21. I didn't know what Carolero was doing there, but man, great find to the opposite corner. 
What is Winthrop's counter going to be? Corey Hightower, the corner three, he knocks it down. <laughs> left corner to left corner. Your corner for my corner, <laughs> Hightower says. Corey's first points of the game, it's his first three. Winthrop now three of eight from behind the arc. Stachic, the up top three, misses. Hightower rebounds for Winthrop. I've got a couple friends and former teammates from Belgrade that might not have been too happy about that shot. Pull up <laughs> three from Ross, no good. Campbell now on the attack. They're looking to push it up the floor quickly, but they'll kind of settle back into their offense. Henderson on Russell, mismatch. And, and he took advantage. Bucking a foul here. Henderson took advantage. Kelton Talford picks up the foul. Great drive by Henderson. Realized he had to mismatch, mismatch, not getting rid of the ball too early. Saw Winthrop stunting and digging in on the ball, but keeping his composure, waiting for that lane to be able to open up and went for the score. Russell should have stayed a little solid there. He went for that reach. And Talford picks up the foul. So that's two on Kelton. So Chase Claxton will come in. The end one is a miss. Campbell up by one. Both teams have to finish and hit their free throws. Hightower, finger roll no good, but the stick back is good. There he is, Chase Claxton, that's what he does. There's Claxton, Mr. Everything. He's so wiry inside Mike. Mr. Everywhere, Mr. Fantastic. <laughs> and he can, you know, he doesn't need a lot of space, but he can just get in there and make plays. Intended for Moxekis, and it's going to be intercepted. Winter on the attack in the corner. Corbin, shot fake. Misses, gets his own rebound. That's, he, that's one thing a shooter has the advantage. If you know it's not going to go in, you follow the ball and try and get the rebound. Yeah, that was one thing I had a problem with. I always thought it was going <laughs> you in. You always thought it was going <laughs> in. <laughs> Is Patrick good? Can't get it to fall. Henderson rebounds. That was a tough one there. There's a difference between shooting off the ball screen when they're going under and just shooting a contested long-range three. They definitely want you to, sh Campbell definitely wants you to shoot those. Have Henderson ISO it again. I don't think he wanted uh, McCullough to run over there in his driving lane. Carroll Arrow gets the miss, and Russell Jones gets a hard foul. Henderson commits the foul. That'll be his second. That's the fourth team foul, so they still have a couple fouls to give. Winthrop's already at seven. Winthrop has a one-point lead, 425 to play in the half. Winthrop led by as much as seven. But it's been, I don't know, since the 10-minute mark, a pretty good back and forth here between Campbell and Winthrop. Yeah, the, the game you expected to see. Pass inside, Thompson steals from McMahon. One on two, and McMahon may have got a finger on it. Jones rebounds for Winthrop. Now Eagles, three on two. Eagles relying on ball movement to try and move this Campbell defense. They they really, they should have took more advantage of that break they just yeah. had. They were looking for a three instead of looking for the best possible shot. High tower from Cherry Road. <laughs> Jersey he has Mike's. two threes. Jersey Mike, yeah. Four-point lead for the Winthrop Eagles. Back in front, three and a half to play here in the half. Two teams picked atop their divisions in the Big South Conference. Both teams are being very sound defensively. The Eagles right here are playing great defense right now. Oh. Good underneath move, but Jones hits it off Carolaro, and McCullough tries to save, but he was out of bounds. It's going to be Winthrop basketball. That was, you know, that is heart and effort on both teams. That's yeah. two. That's uh, that is one of those occasions though where you you want to make sure the clock's running when you're running, yeah, running right. on all cylinders. <laughs> Here's McMahon lifts up for three and hits the corner three right in front of the Campbell bench. Tough shot, tough mate. But I saw them at shoot around this morning, shooting all those shots. So they're pretty confident when they take them. Great Winthrop, shot by McMahon. Winthrop had a very aggressive non-conference schedule. They won a game, their first ever in the Pac-12, 
against Washington. Here's Whitfield. His corner three is good. Man, he has some big games against Winthrop. Now has 11 points to lead the Camels. It's me. Uh, McMahon hit a three, but then gave up a three. You don't help strong side. Russ, Russ tried the behind the back dribble and lost it to Clemens. Now inside, it's McCullough with McMahon guarding and gets the layup. McCullough, his first field goal. And just like that, Campbell with a 4-0 run, and they're within three points. Weather in the storm. Campbell, a seasoned team. They're never, they never feel they're out of it. Well, and when you have a seven-game losing streak against a team that you feel like a couple times, you know, you probably should have beat them. And here's a miss by Corbin. That's just a tough shot. Thought he was fouled, but referee said, nope, get up, son. There's a miss by Whitfield. Carolero's going to be tangled up underneath. And we're going to get a foul against Winthrop with a minute 45 to play. Carolero's tough. I was worried about his knees there. Reminds you of an offensive, offensive lineman when they're, they're in that, that pal of the running, of the running game. <laughs> Glad to see he's okay and nothing happened to him. So the eighth team foul for Winthrop, the first on Chase Claxton. So it puts Carol Arrow at the line, 65% over his career, 70% this year, 24 of 34 at the free throw line, and he will make the first to earn a second. Carolero, season high 19 points twice this year, most recently in a loss at VCU. Scoring, starting to pick up his scoring, and, and earlier when he made that pass to the to the other corner for a three, it makes sense, but he's, you know, third in the Big South in assists. Pulls within one here, Campbell does against Winthrop. Minute 36 to play. Now that I'm thinking about it, that's, that's pretty high level for his position to be ranked third in the whole conference in assists. Look, Joshua Hussain's a pretty good assist man, too, yeah. although he's been hurt this year. And now we're going to get a reach-in foul, and then Carolero goes to the deck and take really committed two fouls there, but he'll only get credit for one I he took I'm out Hightower. <laughs> I'm with the refs on the first one. I think that was great defense. Hightower exposed the ball too much. Carolero staying low, getting it to his hips. So it's two on Carolero. So Carolero with two, Henderson with two. Mm. Winthrop has two fouls on DJ Burns and Kelton Talford. DJ Burns picked it up with, I think, about six, seven minutes into the game. If you're both teams, you're you're happy where you are with some of your main guys. You're all attempting the layup. In games like this, you have to. Absorb contact and then raise your contact. <laughs> so good, uh, Bugs rather misses the first of two. 67% over his career. He's 55% this year. Trying to break this 32 point log jam here and misses on both. So Eagles have kind of struggled here at the free throw line. Been a season long thing. One of six at the line today. 7 of 11 for the Camels. Ooh. Here's the backdoor cut, and it's going to be a bucket by Whitfield as he scores on Hightower. Patience by the Camel, Campbell Camels. They were eventually going to get that backdoor action, that dribble at backdoor action. Caught good sleeping. And they were working on that today in, in shoot-around. And ironically, Good was the loudest one yelling, <laughs> no, out, I know. yelling out the reads. Hightower loses. Now passes out for Mike Anumba, has the corner three, knocks it down! A little gimme there. Hightower almost lost it, was able to be tough and not worry about any of the hands. Time left, they have the opportunity to really run something and get a solid shot. Let's see how they execute. Them being a seasoned team, a veteran team, I expect them to execute here. And as we suspected, Michael, they're just kind of Playing a little patty cake here until the shot clock gets under 10. Now they're going to get into their scoring action. Good play. And McCullough has it swatted away and a blocking foul inside. Shot. Yeah. Rush to catch it on the run. 
Russ does get it on the run, puts up the half court heave. For Winthrop, a team like Winthrop where DJ is scoring yeah. around 16, 17 games, your scoring is tiered on your, on your roster. So you have to keep that consistency. Get a whistle here. The shot clock didn't start, so they're going to probably take five seconds off the shot clock. Winthrop has Jones, Anumba, Bugs, Hightower, and Burns. It's going to be McCullough, Whitfield, Clemens, Carolero, and Henderson for the Camels to get things started here in the second half. If I'm Campbell, I'm attacking DJ with Carolero right away. Well, it worked to get him in foul trouble in the first half. Why not try to do it here in the second half? That's one of the best defenses on DJ Burns, or one way to keep him from scoring is to keep him off the field. It's kind of like the ball control in football. Here's a pull-up from Henderson. He knocks it down with Mike Anumba falling down. But good to see Mike Anumba back yeah. on the floor for Winthrop. He just needed a little bit of ice. Great shot there by Henderson, finding his touch there. Anuba jumped the screen early, tried to ice it. Lost his balance, tripped over somebody DJ's foot probably. Henderson calmly knocked it down. Five lead changes now in the game. Campbell ahead by two to start the second half, forcing Winthrop deep into the shot clock. That patented tough Campbell defense. Bugs. Little floater, no good. And that was falling in the first half, didn't fall here in the second. You need those buckets. Great pro, great read, great drive by DJ screening off, shooting this man. Those are the shots that's going to make a difference come towards the end of the game. Elbow jumper for McCullough. He's got six. Another mid range jumper there by Campbell. Campbell's largest lead now, four. The ball's going to be stolen by Clemens. Two on two. Winthrop defense gets back. That pass by Hightower, those are the mistakes that Campbell wants you to make. Really trying to force the issue. They're set. Their defense was sound. That was the first side attack. The baseline at that where there's already another one. Here's a three by Henderson. So out of the locker room, a 7-0 run for the Camels. Their largest lead. Now Winthrop's largest lead, seven. So this matches... The largest lead for either side. But Maybe. Camel coming out on fire here in the second half. Here's Bugs in traffic, and that one falls. Another tough bucket, though. The shots are looking a little easier for Campbell out to start the half and a little tougher for Winthrop. Great concentration, though, by Bugs to finish. Another mid-range jumper. And Whitfield comes around a good Carolero screen. 16 points now for Whitfield. Campbell is attacking DJ off the pick and roll. He's sinking down in a drop. He's not coming out. They're getting as deep as they can, and they're stopping and popping for their pull-ups, for their mid-range jumpers. A jersey tug by McCullough. <laughs> he lost DJ. <laughs> figured the only way he could slow him down was to grab his jersey. So the second foul on McCullough, that's the first Campbell foul, first foul here in the second half by either team. Patrick Good comes in for the Eagles with Hightower. Drew Bugs getting a breather on the bench. Hightower goes out as well. Burns on the double team. Here's Anumba for the corner three. No good. Burns tips, goes to Anumba. Eagles reset, and Chase Claxton fouled trying to get the layup inside. There's Winthrop showing athleticism on the glass, keeping the, keeping the ball alive. Mike didn't have it, wasn't really ready to shoot. Low pass by DJ, but Mike had to take an extra step into his jump shot. Left it short, but great job by Chase. So that is the third foul on McCullough. He picks up two quick ones. And a shooter's roll there for Chase Claxton. <laughs> One out of two, Chase 46% at the line this season. 57% over his career. Well, that, that's, that's promising there that he hit the first one. Well, then missed the second one. If I'm for the season 40-something percent, I'll take one for two. Lead is six now for the Camels. Lob inside. It's going to be stolen. Russ Jones Jr. Great using his quickness there. Puts on the Jets. Tried to pass a six-point lead after the game was tied at 35 at the half. Now with the full pressure here on the inbound. 
trying to do something to change the tempo of the game, a little full court pressure. But Campbell's still going to be able to get into their stuff. They wanted to bring the shot clock down. Clemens dribble drive kick out. Henderson pull up, it's blocked. Great recovery by Chase. Fell Chase. for the shot fake. But being the great defender he is, recovery speed is on 10. Mike Numba's wing three no good. So Winter, a little cold here in the second half. They're getting good looks though. They're getting good looks. You just have to convert. After a big stop, you want to try and get those points offensively. And Henderson with a miss. Pat Good rebounds for Winthrop. First rebound for the grad transfer. Russ with a miss. Talford rebounds Winthrop. Lusane foul was on the floor, so Winthrop will inbound, not free throws. Winthrop trying to get into their half-court offense against a stingy Campbell defense. Winthrop one for five in the second half from the floor. One for five in the second half. Big shot there by Hightower, though. It looked good from here. Third three for Corey Hightower. Makes it a three-point game. Cuts that lead in half. He's hit some big shots in this game. When Winthrop's needed a basket, he's provided that lift with that big three. Yeah, Hightower is one of their big shot makers on the season. I think he knows that in his role, and he's always ready to shoot it. Carolero trying to back down off the double team. Finds Lusane, hits it off the rim, no good. Hightower rebounds, and now Winthrop looking to push. Flat foot three by Lusane. Had no lift at all on that shot. Looked like a line drive. Yeah. Well, one of my golf shots. <laughs> That's not good. Good pass. Great pass to Corey Hightower. DJ out of that double team. Found Hightower baseline. The reverse no good, but he's going to go to the free throw line after the foul on Carolero. And now Jesus Carolero has three fouls. You have McCullough with three fouls. Lassane has two. So foul trouble kind of racking up here for Campbell here in the second half. Four fouls for the Camels. Winter has not committed a foul. Big shot there by Hightower to convert that free throw, making them now three for eight from the line. They got to improve that free throw percentage if they're going to keep getting to the line and getting fouled. Corey is the first Winter player into double figures. He's the Winter leader with 10 points. His second free throw makes it 11. Good, good sign there to go two for two. Way to get there and knock him down, Hightower. Well, maybe that performance will spark some confidence in the Eagle free throw shooters. Currently four for 10 now. It's a good matchup defensively there yeah. with Russell Jones Jr. on Messiah Thompson. It's great anticipation there by Russ to cut him off and great job there by DJ too to not foul there in the post. Good job, Russell. Shot clock at five. Ball's going to be swatted there by DJ Burns. Winthrop attacking. Good, the corner three. Good! That's the way they want to play. If you get stops on one end, run on another. A team like Campbell that wants to play, slow down pace in the half court, it starts to get a little erratic. They're uncomfortable. Patrick Good, the leader in three-point shooting. A big three puts the Eagles ahead by two. When you see the top ranked percentage three point shooter in the conference running the lane, you spray it ahead. It's a 9 0 run for Winthrop, and it's been a game of runs. Floater no good. Burns rebounds for Winthrop. Eagles looking to push tempo. Drew Bugs, the transfer. From Missouri, the turnaround. Tough shot. Couldn't get that shooter's roll. Tough shot, tough angle. Tough shot. He had him off the first move for mid-range jumper. Decided to try to go a little deeper. If I was Russell there in transition, they went under. You got to stop and pop. Shoot that three-pointer off the dribble. Winthrop now doing a good job forcing Campbell deep into a shot clock. Now a bump foul on DJ Burns. Couldn't get his... Couldn't get to the spot quick enough. Picks up his third foul. DJ got to move his feet a little quicker. It's borderline, borderline foul, borderline. Not a foul. 
if he gets into his hips a little more and takes a better angle, yeah. he's going to cut him off and may have a chance at a steal. But great job there by, I think that was Whitfield, or was that Clemens that used their body to be able to create that contact? Well, it was roughly the same point in the first half where DJ picked up his second foul where he picks up his third. We'll see how long he stays on the floor. Right now, Winthrop a two-point lead. Now, Winthrop had a seven-point lead when he left the game in the first half with two fouls. What this, this Whitfield is what with Lusane. He got away with a push-off. He had a yep, big South Conference preseason player of the year. You know he gets in foul trouble a lot. Winthrop has to figure out how can we keep the same intensity, the same runs, the same advantage on offense when our star player isn't in the game. Josh Corbin, Sincere McMahon in for Winter, along with Kelton Talford, Chase Claxton, and Micah Numba. Shot clock under 10. Talford working inside, gets the lane on the flop by Stachic. Great composure there by Telford. Great footwork as well. One false move would have been a travel. Great job. Winter back by two. Kiss screen action. Oh, that's a charge. Henderson. That is a charge. Charge taken by Chase Claxton. Jerry, that guy probably leads the Big South in charges. Charges taken. He and Mike and Numba are Winthrop's best on-ball defenders. And two of the leading charge takers on this team. Chase and Mike and Numba will lay their body on the line at any given moment in the game. That's three fouls on Henderson. He's got to be careful. McCullough has three. With a two-point lead. Good pass. Swing, swing. Shot clock under 10. Mike Anumba in traffic. Can't get it to fall. There's Talford for the putback. And Claxton can't get it to fall. Now Anumba again. There goes that tenacious tenacity on the glass. That's all will and effort right there. Those guys are long, athletic, and wiry. They're going to get offensive rebounds. And sometimes they're not going to convert, and sometimes they will. Well, that's why that offensive rebounding is so important. Try to get those second, third chance, especially when you have those close, not that they were easy shots, but that close to the basket, you want to try and get as many of those as you can. Here's an up top three for Henderson. Henderson, Henderson and uh, Stachich are running that dribble handoff to a T right now. There's three times right now that Henderson could have shot it, but he didn't, but he decided to shoot it there and cashed out. One point game, approaching 11 minutes to go. Lob inside, Talford gets triple teamed. Here's McMahon, the corner three, rims in and out. Talford there for the rebound, the offensive board, a huge put back by Talford. Great job there, they went and double teamed Talford. He got the ball out to McMahon and Stotchich had to run out, leaving Telford down there with the advantage on the glass. All so ten any offensive rebound was going to come to him. All ten Winthrop players, Michael, have now scored. Telford is four points. You'd like to see that if you're Coach Frosty. Actually, they're crediting that as his first basket. I thought he had a tip back before. He had a layup. He had a layup earlier. He made that move and... We'll see, what the official, we'll see what the official stats say. That's have won eight straight home games, 18 out of their last 19. Trying to make it nine straight. Campbell trying to snap a seven-game losing streak against Winthrop. Campbell there out of the timeout, tried to catch Winthrop sleeping again with another dribble at back door. Great job for Winthrop to stay alert. Carolero, the putback no good, but he's going to be fouled. In the act of shooting, he had the initial miss. Now Kelton Telford has picked up his third. If I'm Coach Prosser, next practice, I'm. If you don't stay down on the shot fake, you're running. Yeah. These guys are he jumping bit, at the gym. Big on time on that shot fake. Carolel is selling it very well, staying low, ball high, butt low on the shot fakes, but he's done it from the first half into now. You have to make that adjustment. Know your personnel. Carolero with the missed. Free throw. Remember, 65% over his career, 70% entering play today. This to make it a two-point game. And does make the second. Two-point game. 
good to see Hightower back in the game. He's been a big key for Just Winthrop. Slip screen. Ah. Just missed. That rimmed in and out. Great action there. Fake, fake ball screen on the side, but he slipped it for the pick and pop. Wide open. Would have made it a five-point game. Instead, it's a two-point game. Foul. Sorry. Foul on Whitfield, or foul on Hightower against Whitfield. That's only the second foul against Corey Hightower, but with the clock stopped, it gives Hightower or uh, Whitfield a chance to tie the game up. And Jordan Whitfield, member, is almost automatic at the free throw line. Three for four today. Make that four of five. You love the effort. You love the, the effort to recover by Hightower, but you have to know the angle of which you can contest. Great job by Whitfield there to go ahead and stop right there where he wanted to make that shot, reading the defense, knowing he probably was going to get hit. And he makes the two free throws to tie up our score. Russell Jones Jr. waiting for the troops to catch up. Inside the Burns. Great duck in. Duck in is good and a foul. A conventional three-point play for DJ Buckets. Great job. Caught Campbell sleeping there. Or maybe they didn't catch him sleeping. Just overpowered him with that duck in by DJ. And if you get ducked in by DJ, especially in the Big South Conference, you can sayonara. <laughs> DJ had three or Winthrop had uh, three games against Campbell last year. DJ had double-figure games in two out of the three. And he had 22 points. He was 11 of 12 from the floor in the championship game. Mm. Very productive. But this is key. They have to convert their and ones, make their free throws in a close game like this. That's foul number four on Austin McCullough, so he's gonna exit. Messiah Thompson checks back in. Thompson with two points, one of four from the floor. But McCullough, 6'5", giving way to 5'8", Messiah Thompson. And DJ makes his free throw. He has seven points. Went to four or five at the free throw line in the second half. Looks like we have a shot clock issue. We've had a couple of times where the shot clock hasn't started immediately. It's about the third or fourth time that's happened. Yeah, former Eagle Bjorn Brom is over there. I wonder what he's doing. I'm about to <laughs> talk to Bjorn. <laughs> Good to see Bjorn, <laughs> one of the uh, all-time greats here. Not 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 the shooter that Michael Jenkins is, but a good shooter in his own right. <laughs> Carol Arrow for Thompson. Shot clock at 10. Thompson sees a lane, misses, and Mike Anumba rebounds for Winthrop. It's a great job by Hightower there. When you have to play two on a skip pass, you know the scout report. Stunning he made Thompson have to think about it. Took him out his rhythm for that jumper. Here's Bugs, the corner three. No good. Thompson, the rebound. DJ putting his hands up, avoiding contact. Smart play by the Winthrop big man. Man, I'm telling you, on both sides, I'm seeing a lot of strong side help from guys at the corner for three. It's unbelievable. Just giving guys shots. <laughs> you wish you were playing tonight. <laughs> <laughs> You would have had 200 threes in the Man. season, I think. At least would have put them up, I know that. <laughs> Carolero <laughs> ties our score at 55. His Approaching eight minutes to go. His shot looked really good there. Right by their own bench. Russell Jones Jr. back on the floor with Corey Hightower, Patrick Good, Chase Claxton, Kelton Talford, Whitfield, McCullough, Clemens, Thompson, and Henderson for the Camels. Good, can't get it to hit the rim, and that's going to be out of bounds. It'll be Campbell basketball. Would have been a shot clock violation. That's amazing defense there by Clemens. He's been a hound on the ball all night. Solid sound. 
big chest, big shoulders. You can't really get by, by him. Quick feet made it tough for good there. If you're a coach Prosser, you don't want that right out of a timeout and air ball. Yeah, and tough possession. And not something you'd expect from Patrick Good, who's one of the best three-point shooters in the conference. Here's a corner three from Messiah Thompson. That's a big lift for Campbell, and they have a three-point lead. Great pass, got it around the horn. Swing, swing, swing to the corner. Went was in rotation, couldn't get there soon enough. See what the Eagles' answer is with seven minutes to go. Down by three. High tower lifts up for three. Answers with his own corner three. <laughs> I'll raise your corner. Wow. <laughs> Take your corner and raise you for another corner. <laughs> 14 points for Corey Hightower. Winthrop has had 10 players on the floor. All have at least two points. There's that backdoor cut to Clemens. And Hightower is going to commit the foul. Those are the things Campbell wants. They're going to continuously run their action, run their action. You may stay sound all game, but that one time you make a mistake, they're going to find it, and they're going to capitalize on it. Let's go put Ricky Clemens at the line. That's number three on Hightower. Winthrop has committed five fouls, six for Campbell. So Clemens has to earn the two points at the line here. Clemens two for three with three assists, four rebounds in the game. McCullough with four fouls is going to come back in with D.J. Burns back on the floor for Winthrop. Whitfield's going to get a breather. 6.30 to play. This free throw to make it a two-point game for the Camels. Trying to snap a seven-game losing streak against the Eagles. Shooter roll drops. Two free throws for Clemens. They lead by two, 6.25 to play. D.J. Burns back in the game for Winthrop. Working on, it's going to be an offensive foul against D.J. Burns. And that's going to be the fourth foul on D.J. Burns. It's a tough one there, especially with six minutes, six to 20 left to go. Such a close game. Sometimes I think when you have size, you get penalized for using your strength. I'm not saying that was a bad call, but. Most definitely, but as a red shirt junior as DJ is, you have to be a to little avoid more savvy. contact, yeah. You have to know that. Campbell. You know how to use your body by now. With the lead and the ball. Carol Arrow, good, good job keeping his feet there. I thought he was going to slip. Yeah, great job by Telfer cutting off at an angle. Shot clock at 10. Carol Arrow rises w. up for three. No good. And the rebound, Chase Claxton. Now Winthrop attacking three on three. I was afraid Bugs didn't know what he was doing there. Great job. Take it back out. Using his body. Looks for Talford. Good mismatch up for Talford on Clemens. Kelton Talford gets a big bucket. He's got six points. Back to 60 with 531 to play. Not the prettiest of possessions, but you got the results you wanted. But now what has built Winthrop's tradition, defense. Can Winthrop get the stops down the stretch when they need them? Or is it Campbell going to make the defensive plays? Here's Carol Arrow. Jump shot is good. He's such a skilled player inside. Man, they ran their offense just now like a well-oiled machine. Great pace. Passes hitting hands, target hands, great cuts with speed, great finish. And Bugs backs down the shorter Thompson. Using the size there, putting Thompson down there, putting him on his butt. Winthrop has not lost this year when Drew Bugs has scored at least five points. 62 all with four and a half to play. Jumper is good, Mike Numba. Wanted a call there. It's not going to get it. Not at all. This is big boy basketball, baby. <laughs> Great screens. Blocking foul. Thompson picks up his first foul. So after the bucket, 
goes on the defensive end, picks up a foul against Drew Bugs. Thompson didn't know if he wanted to try to take a charge or, or try to cut him off there. He, well, he didn't establish his legal guarding position. Obvious, obvious, yeah. obvious block. Obvious. That's not debatable at all. It's going to put Drew Bugs back at the line. Campbell is down here running the offense like they're doing 5 on 0. <laughs> it's so fluid. And the front end of the one and one is good for Drew Bugs. That's good to see from Bugs. Achilles Hill has been the free throw line. Under five minutes, you really want to lock in and make your free throws, especially being the point guard. Well, last five minutes of the game, so critical. And Drew Bugs with two big free throws ties our score at 64. So, third time, Bugs in double figures. Officials will stop the clock before the ball's inbounded to have the Winthrop bench sit down. 4.14 to play. It's been a heavyweight battle here. The two top teams, preseason favorites in the Big South Conference, North and South respectively. And it's been an even game pretty much the entire way. Both teams have had seven point leads. Campbell with seven fouls, Winthrop with six. And a foul on Winthrop here with three at the free throw line, shooting a one and one. After the Michael number of foul, his third. Twenty points now for Henderson. Definitely the type of game he he wanted himself to have. Yeah, no doubt. Hits both free throws. So lead is back to two. Three forty-six to play. Eagles have DJ Burns on offensively. They'll go offense for defense substitutions with him when they can. Bugs can't get the roll. Carolero. Yep. I knew they was going to get him. Good job by Carolero there to sell it. Drew. Bugs on the miss. Burns trying to rebound. A little bit of contact with Carol Arrow. So Burns has fouled out the Big South Conference preseason player of the year. Fouled out here with 3.34 to go. That's a huge, huge advantage for the Camels. So Carol Arrow will shoot a one and one here. That's the eighth team foul for Winthrop. First is good for Carolero. Eagles got to regroup here and figure it out. Carolero's been fighting all game. Tough, physical, really giving DJ all he, all he could give him. But there, being real savvy. Mm -hmm. Smart, felt the contact, laid out. He had possession of the ball, so the refs had to call it. Lead is four for Campbell. Now a foul inside with 3.24 to play. I think that's a set off a free throw because Mike Anumba has done that a couple times tonight. They dribble up the sideline, spray their head to him in the corner, and he just rips and goes. Puts his head down and attacks the basket. So that's number four on Cedric Henderson. So Mike Anumba. At the line for Winthrop, misses on the first. Mike's one of the more dependable free throw shooters for Winthrop. 81% entering play today. One for three now. Winthrop now six of eight here in the second half. But seven of 14, misses both. That's a huge miss. Can't go 0 for this down the stretch. Well, and you don't want to go down six points here either. You're down four with 3.15 to play. Now they got to buckle down and get a stop. DJ Burns has fouled out of the game, the Big South Conference preseason player of the year. 22 points in the championship game. He's on the bench. Here's Carol Arrow working on Talford. Fall away is good. Carol Arrow's having a second half for the Camels. Lead by six. Great poise there on the block. Telford gave him all he could give him defensively. Russell 
Missed it left, got it back, tips it to Talford, gets mugged by That was with 2.43 to play. That could be a pivotal junction here in this game, particularly if the Eagles get points here. Patrick Good rises for three. Good with 2.30 to play. Patrick Good delivers. I saw them run that play all all, all morning during shoot around, and they just ran it to perfection there. From 5 on 0 to 5 on 5, same result for Good. And that's going to get the crowd up here. Whitfield working on Good, sealed off. Great defense there by Good as well, not being a liability. Crowd been pretty, pretty tempered, pretty measured. Here's Carolero, and he's going to get it to fall. Man, he's had a second half. He's been terrific. He's in the zone, and if you're the Eagles, and you're guarding Carolero. He's gone to the middle with his right hand four straight times. Four straight times, yeah. And nobody's made an adjustment. 145 to play. Winthrop down by three. Seven game win streak against Campbell on the line. Here's good. Euro step, and it's blocked. Tries to get the rebound, and we're going to get a foul on Patrick Good. And it's the right call. He kind of he kind of leg tackled Clemens there. So that's going to put Campbell at the line with a minute 33 to play. If you're good there, great job attacking the closeout, stopping pop. You're going in the paint to do what? I haven't, you haven't made a floater or right, got right, to the rim right. all game. Know your game, know your strength. Stop and pop. You're probably with the pursuit of the defender, yeah. you're probably going to get a foul call. Right. Because you elevate, he elevates so high on his sure. jump shot. Guy had no choice but to probably run into his leg. Now he has a chance to get an and one, or at least two free throws. Both teams with nine fouls. Clemens at the line for the third time. He's three for four, misses that one, gets the rebound, though, and now a reset for Campbell with a minute 30 to play. They'll get a fresh 20 on the shot clock. Those mistakes in late game is the details. The details, you have to block out the free throw shooter. And now it puts more pressure on the defense. Can't allow points here, especially a three. Here's Carolero, no good, and it's going to be rebounded by Hightower. Minute 13 to go in a three-point game. They gambled there. With it can go two for one here. Sealed off by Carolero. Bucks has the mismatch he wants. No passes it off, though. One minute to go here in the Coliseum. Winthrop down three. Here's Bugs. Hightower, list of three, good! Ice cold. 17 points for Hightower, 48 seconds to go, 72 even. You need a big shot, call Hightower. He's the player today that's had the hot hand. Whitfield, sailed off. The floater, no good. Ball loose inside, Winthrop has it, 32 seconds to go. Winthrop needs to take their time. With it on the floor for Campbell. Key here is execution. Show what type of team you're going to be out of a timeout late game. Can you execute? Drew Bugs holding the ball like a running back right now. With her playing for a shot under about five seconds to go. There's Bugs. From the free throw line. Good with four seconds to go. Court, they're not going to defend the inbounder. Ricky Clemens runs the baseline. Gets it in for Whitfield. Three seconds. Top of the key for three. And it